Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're looking at Apogee Digital's Quartet Desktop Studio Interface and Control Center for Mac computers. In the last couple of years, we've seen a number of sleek desktop audio interfaces arrive on the market, including Apogee's One, Duet, and Duet 2. These models pack professional sound and features into stylish and portable form factors, but they do have some limitations. Not everyone is thrilled about using breakout cables or breakout boxes, and even with those, you're limited to recording two analog inputs at a time. Also, on the output side, you often only have a stereo headphone out and a left and right output for monitoring, which is fine for stereo monitoring on one set of speakers, but professional engineers usually like to audition their mixes on a couple of different monitors, which is kind of a pain with only one stereo output pair. Also, one pair of stereo outs doesn't allow you to mix in 5.1 surround sound. The folks at Apogee obviously put some thought into these issues, and the quartet is their elegant solution. We figured we'd put it to use recording my voice for this video, so my lav mic is plugged into input four, and we're recording to a MacBook Pro using Logic at 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. No breakout cables or boxes on the quartet. The four combo quarter-inch XLR inputs and six balanced quarter-inch outputs are all right on the back of the chassis itself, along with two optical Toslink ADAT SMIX digital inputs for a total of eight channels of digital audio input. Also back here are two USB ports. One is for core MIDI data only, say from a controller keyboard, for example, while the second is the USB 2.0 connection to the computer. The BNC word clock out is back here also, allowing you to sync other digital devices to the quartet. Also back here is the input from the Lumpen Line DC power supply. There's also a ground connection should you need it. The headphone jack is on the side. The chassis is die-cast aluminum, angled to give you a better look at the two OLED screens and single controller knob, and it's a bit heavier than it looks at 3.5 pounds. It's undoubtedly beautiful. Its black and gray color scheme looks great beside a Mac. Operation is quite intuitive. Touch pads are used to assign the controller knob to one of the four input gain controls, or either the headphone volume or main monitor volume. In addition, there are three assignable pads labeled A, B, and C. When the quartet arrives, the A button is set to clear the overage lights on the meters, B dims the outputs, and C sums the outputs to mono, but you can reset them to taste. Personally, I like the idea of each button engaging a different speaker set, allowing you to quickly audition the mix on different monitors. Information about the inputs and outputs is displayed on the two small but very cool looking OLED screens that show you levels, meters, and other pertinent information. The large encoder knob indents for one-touch muting for the main monitors, headphones, or both, depending on your preferences. The quartet is not cheap, but keep in mind that under the hood on this interface are some top-notch, state-of-the-art electronics. The outstanding mic pre's, for example, offer seamless, click-free transitions as you increase the gain over the 0 to 75 dB range. 75 dB of gain and an ultra-low noise floor means that even low output level ribbon mics sound great on the quartet. In addition, Apogee is famous for their A to D and D to A converters, an excellent word clock technology that delivers super clean digital recordings at rates of up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. Now keep in mind though that on the eight digital ADAT SMUX input channels, the maximum sampling rate is 96 kilohertz. The quartet is designed to give you a lot of options for quick hands-on control of things you'll need to adjust a lot, like volume, input gain, mutes, etc. But for more comprehensive adjustments, you'll need Apogee's Maestro 2 software, which you'll download for free, of course, from Apogee Digital's website. Here you can make independent adjustments for each of the four analog inputs. Inputs. Input levels can be set to mic, minus 10 dBV, or plus 4 dBU line levels, or a high Z setting for electric guitars and basses. Two group options, 48 volts phantom power for condenser mics and phase reverse are all independently selectable here. Maestro 2 is also where you'll engage Apogee's soft limit function, which helps you to avoid digital clipping by using analog technology to round off transient peaks before they get to the A to D converter, while in the process adding a touch of analog-like warmth 
to the sound. To give you a quick idea of the sound, we'll record our guest guitarist, Mr. Mike Callahan, playing a bit of clean electric guitar into input one, first with soft limit off and the gain level a bit too hot, and then again at the same gain level but with soft limit engaged so you can hear the difference. <laughs> Now that's not a scientific demo, Mike just played the same riff twice at about the same intensity, but the second time you can hear that soft limit removes that ugly digital clipping. Apogee highly touts the low latency performance of the quartet and its drivers, and indeed we recorded the demo you just heard using Logic Pro at a buffer rate of 32 samples, and it worked just fine with no discernible latency. But of course, if you have more tracks and plugins going on, you'll need to use higher buffer rates. To avoid monitoring latency at those higher rates, Maestro 2 software offers a latency-free mixer that allows you to route the input signal directly to the outputs while still allowing you to hear the music from your DAW, and it's pretty straightforward and easy to use. In fact, there's actually two independent mixers in Maestro 2, so if you'd like to create one mix for studio monitoring and a separate mix tailored for a musician and route that first one to the speakers and the second one to the headphones, that's no problem. So this is a relatively brief look at the Quartet audio interface from Apogee Electronics. With four analog inputs, eight digital input channels, and outstanding mic pres and converters, the Quartet offers top-notch sound quality in a desktop interface that offers very well integrated monitor control and 5.1 capability. I'm Rob from BH and thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.